Does that speak to any level of desire to have the country united as one again? So it's a great question. I mean, what I would say to that is that the older generations, especially ones with family ties uh, to the North, uh, very much want and hope for reunification. Uh, I think that's that's the first point. But what's interesting, and it came out in this um, discussion and debate in South Korea around marching under a unified flag and especially around uh, the unified hockey team between the North and the South, that the younger generation sees this as much more problematic uh, and much more is much more uh, skeptical of the benefits of reunification. So what's I think what is interesting is you do see when you live in South Korea, there are sharp differences between the generations, Uh, you know, in the U.S., not so much. You know, myself and my father were kind of alike. We both yell at Ohio State football and the TV. <laughs> right. And, you know, I guess the TV is a little better. And I maybe I yell at the computer versus the television. But we're kind of the same, right? Mm-hmm, In South mm-hmm. Korea, you because of the pace of development, the generational cleavages and attitudes, yeah. I, I think, are sharper. And yeah. you, this is one of these great questions. Uh, final point, I would say, is... It's also why when Park Geun-hye was the president, she undertook a drive to really reinvigorate the discussion about reunification in South Korea. And part of the reason, if you ask people who worked in her blue house, was not just because of policy reasons, but they saw that the younger generation's interest in reunification was declining over time, and they were worried about the consequences of that. 